Okay, guess they doing just fine. Said I'm not yours, so I see you're not mine. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Ball Stretches video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a sneak peek video. Uh, so we haven't done a sneak peek video since basically last season, I guess, season seven, right? Well, season eight is going to be coming very soon. I have a lot of info to share with you guys. So shout out to all the players or, or all of the people in on Discord um, on the sneak peek discord where they actually shared all these info with us uh so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things okay so first we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this new quest a new quest is about to start make sure you're ready to breed a bunch of top monsters and even obtain a new one yoroi did i pronounce it right i think so but that's not all the quest days are coming too bringing you the opportunity to get monsters from the previous quest don't miss a chance and for those of you that were asking how do i get mad of fusion is there any way uh where i could get mad of fusion well there's going to be a quest days it's coming back guys and uh you can get a new monster um it's a quest monster yoroi uh so i'm guessing it's going to be a mythic monster we don't have a picture of it yet but this is some info uh let's go ahead and see here so your quest a new quest is about to start make sure you're ready to breed a bunch of top monsters and even obtain a new one yoroi but that's not all of course the quest days are coming too vault keys progressive crowded islands embark on the vault key challenge you'll be able to obtain keys to open new spaces in your monster vault make room for new monsters Col start collecting now awesome let's go uh so a lot of players were actually asking for of course um space right island space make another island or something stuff like that well they're just gonna do this there's gonna be a vault keys challenge where you could get yourself vault keys and of course in the vaults you can go on and keep uh, monsters in it right so let's move on we have a race breeding yes all right so breeding combinations lord maltus with taiga you can also use lord maltus with Yordicus if you're missing taiga um, you can also, if you're missing, what's it called, um, Lord Maltus, you could use Taiga with Violet. Yeah, to get Myrak, Dr. Mara Helsen. So yeah, this is going to be to two of the previous um, race monsters. You have chances of getting them now by uh, this breeding. So Myrak would be actually really good to get. I would, uh, that would be pretty awesome. For each successful breeding, one, plus one rune, level five. For each ninth successful breeding, you get a level three, one of them. Okay, cool. Race breeding, you have any of your city? Okay, we sort of went through that already, so let's go ahead and skip that. Uh, leaked movesets of Dr. Watt. Mythic Thunder featured in upcoming Legends Fast, not official. Yeah, so this is not official, guys. They may change some things around. But um, before we actually get into the movesets, let me go ahead and show you guys the Season 8 Legends Fast. So, I'm not sure if you guys knew, but um, our Master Spotlight for that season is going to be Necromancer. It's Warmaster Necromancer's month, so he's taking a spotlight. Necromancer's Heroic Dungeon will be open throughout May, and if you buy the Golden Legends Fast, unlocking nodes will require fewer Heroic Orbs than usual, and rank requirements will disappear. Pretty useful. Um, then we have Vault Keys Progressive. Like I said, there are a lot of new Mythic monsters coming. You'll need room for them. Get keys to unlock new slots in your Monster Vault. I love the fact that they're doing this. Thank you, Social Point. Legends Fast Season 8. Season 8 of the Legends Pass is here. Update Monster Legends to access it. Users of the free Legends Pass can get a new mythic monster, Dr. Watts. That's going to be the monster name. I believe that's going to be the free pass monster, by the way. With the Golden Legends Pass, you'll also unlock the chance to get another new rank 3 mythic monster, Zorky. A skin for Dr. Watts as well. And a Necromancer emblem to reduce the cost of heroic orbs and get rid of the rank requirements in Necromancer Dungeon. Another of the rewards in the Golden Legends Pass is the Maze Collector tickets, of course. You can stack up to 30 of them. During the first few days, or seven days actually, you'll be able to purchase the Golden Legends Pass um, with the 30 unlocked notes. After the purchase, restart the game and enjoy. Are you guys excited for this? I am actually excited for this. I'm glad it's not... Um, well, I mean, Necromancer is alright, right? As a Warmaster now, back then he was super good. But now he's alright. Um... But I'm still going to be saving up my orbs, probably to get uh, a rank 2 Ragnarok. I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comments, Sh should I get Necromancer? Uh, I don't know, I'll have to see. But, here we go. So, let's see here, there's going to be a Tainai path for players that actually have Tainai. So yeah, this path is a unique chance for Tainai owners to rank their Mythic Monster. 
Tenai's a nature support debuffer. He can remove positive status effects from enemies as well as negative status effects from all allies. Of course, this is basically all the infos about him. Um, so players that actually own Tenai, there's going to be a path. Miserous path. For players that actually got Miserous, there's going to be a similar path just like that for players that have him. Um, I have Tenai already. I have Miserous as well. You get Miserous from the race, by the way. If you didn't get it, it's unfortunate. Sorry. Um, Guy Deagle path. So players that have Guy Deagle, you have chances of getting Cell Series monster as well, which is awesome. So first I'm guessing is going to be Tenai and then Miserous and then finally Guy Deagle coming, which is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, let's see. More info about Dr. Watts. This is going to be the free Mythic Thunder monster, by the way. Um, so in this current season, it was, what's his name? I think it was armor. No, no, it wasn't armor claw. That was a pet per what's called previous season. Um, but this season it was actually Tainai, right? So Tainai, and then there's going to be Dr. Watts for the next season. So Dr. Watts was born from Dr. Victor's childhood. Wish to have a brother he could play with. The two siblings were inseparable for years, but as the competition grew before or between them, Dr. Watts left to build his own army of monsters. He controlled them or he controls through mythic amber interesting he wants to be the single most brilliant scientist ever interesting okay uh let's go ahead and do an analysis real quick on dr watts so try to catch me deals moderate special damage to one enemy not a magic trick deals low thunder damage to all enemies always researching deals very or deals heavy thunder damage to one enemy Halt deals moderate thunder damage to all enemies, applies shock to all enemies, requires cooldown. The debuff is a lie. Removes all negative side effects from itself, requires cooldown. Behind you, room deals heavy thunder damage to an enemy, applies shock and daze uh, to one enemy, by the way. For the science, deals heavy thunder damage to all enemies, applies daze. So sort of, kind of similar to um, what's called cat UFO skill. Uh, Doc, or it says, what's this? <laughs> what's this? I kind of like that. I see what they did there. Deals massive thunder damage to an enemy, requires cooldown. Okay. Uh, my destiny, which is the special, applies damage boost to itself. Deals moderate thunder damage to all enemies, applies double damage to itself. So you get damage boost and you get double damage, which is 150% damage right there. And you're gonna do some damage as well, which is awesome. Um, so it's an attacker. It looks like an attacker. That's cool. Kinda like it. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think about that, by the way. Let's go over to here, of course, time limited, time limited path, which is unspeakable, you guys already know that. Um, let's see if we have anything else here. So, these are the previous ones, Voltar is currently on as well. Monster Week, Earth, I'm not sure if this has been here yet, but there's going to be a Monster Week if, it's, if it hasn't been here, I guess. There will be a Monster Week, um, Earth, which is cool. Uh, we have the breedings, I'm not sure if these are, oh, wait, these are actually in the game already. Uh, the Marathon, guys. This is the race monster. I believe that's his baby form, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like a baby form to me. Um, but it's called the Nif the Nephelium Marathon next week. That's cool. It's a mythic. Um, that's his name, Nephelium. If I hope I pronounce that right. Uh, we have an El Colossal Earth Edition that's going to be starting very soon as well. Welcome to the craziest breeding event, El Colossal. In this edition of El Colossal, almost all of the Earth monsters in the game are available here are two catches to el colossal the first one is the is that the event only lasts 24 hours the second one is that the breeding combinations are random or maybe just top secret don't waste another minute put two earth monsters together in the breeding mountain and see what happens so yeah i'm not sure when this will actually start but yeah it says date unknown so we don't know when it's gonna start but the next one right it's going to be earth um Unspeakable move, Seth. Okay. Anyways, let's see here. Oh boy, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if this breeding has been out yet, but if it hasn't, this is the combo right here: Varuna with um, Rock and Tam to get Taijin. I think that is right. Taijin. Yeah, that's cool. And you get ten extra armor class cells if for every successful breeding, which is cool. I like it. You know, it's alright. Um. But anyways, so that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button. Also subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.